We deserve it all, my nigga, no doubt in that Yachts in the Caribbean, blowing cush, count cash Calls from accountants, investments are growing fast Ocean view fronts, offshore accounts Clear blue water, white sand beaches, my nigga, imagine that I'm thinking on a level these niggas can never match Louis V bag, the stuff with a few racks Matching the latest bids when I made it on the tags That nigga ah, in the building. Rob record what to do. I got my panel in here tonight. My special, special one. I told him, I said, without you, this wouldn't even exist. My brother, the guru, Willie Hugs in the building. What up? How you doing? Good. Welcome back. It's good to be back. It's good to be back. Right side? Uh -huh. Strong side. <laughs> Don't get twisted. And we got an addition in here. First time on the show, Mr. Charles Pearson in the building. <laughs> Right side, strong side. Come on, big man, Sermon Corbin in the building. What up, we? Hey, we show out so bad they got to bring the top notch to us. They got to bring the top notch. Yeah, well, that's what it is. Man, I'm talking about you. Lonnie Emerson and Ghost in the building. What up with you, bro? I can't hear my haters. <laughs> 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 I can't hear my haters, man. <laughs> Maybe the haters don't want to oh, hear you. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm going to interpret it in fine. Like <laughs> <laughs> that is some retarded death. Yeah, oh, man. God. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> nah, let's go. Okay. You know, I always like to go somewhere that, you know, goes oh. with the social aspect of, you know, what we're living in because sports is always a parallel to that. So I just want to jump in. Based off basically from the Kaepernick and Mike Vick thing with the image, what I want to ask us as black people, is there any reason to think we're in denial about our image? Not everybody has to dress or look a certain way, but looking and dressing a certain way seems to be an advantage in the capitalistic world we live in. I'm gonna bring this to ghost first. What do you think we need to do as a people to, I don't know, be on the same page on some level of the image, our image? What, 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 what man, our image? Just look here. I'm just gonna give you the brutal reality. We all know, man, it's fucked up. And I'm probably gonna get some backlash for this, and I'm gonna keep it real. Good. Until we own our own businesses, you, yeah, you have to look a certain way to go in some of these establishments and get employment. And it ain't, it, and it, you know, it, it ain't a, pretty much a white and black thing. It's just nowadays they just don't let people just come in the job looking crazy. In most establishments. You know what I'm saying? Crazy being I mean, different. Yeah, but Dread I ain't gonna say it like braids, tats. No, I mean, I ain't, I ain't, well, it depends on what you do and how you do it. But if you, right. if you like, if you look in to be in a position where you can most times where you can advance, it's kind of messed up. If you think that presentation ain't got a lot to do with it, companies don't look at you, Willie and James and say they say how does he look overall for the, our company, our benefit. And this is the this is the fucked up aspect about that shit. You know what I'm saying? You're not gonna get a CEO job with dreadlocks. This is the reality. So if you want to grow your dreads, just keep it real. Don't complain about not getting a CEO job. Go find out. We need to be figuring out how to incorporate and you know build our own economies. To where we ain't judged on that level. You you can't go in the you know the, re, the requirements of going in the house is you're gonna dress well, you're gonna be clean shaven, you're gonna be well spoken. <laughs> blase, they blase. Right. Now, if 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 you won't go in there, it is, it is what the it, I ain't cuss the French late, but it is what it is. But if you ain't, don't complain, man. I mean, you know, just it is just man up and say, well, I gotta find another way to live, another way of doing things. Why well, I'm not a feeling or find a job where you, it ain't. You cannot think you're gonna go in and then. You cannot go get a job, and a, you know, a, a good job out of college with a head full. Of, I'm, I'm serious, going in there with a head full of dredge, suit bag, and all that. Man, you got to be clean, clean up. It ain't about you. It's about really, you know, going in there getting that job done. Then, then when your work speaks for yourself, you can kind of, you have leverage. You have to do that. Until we get that leverage in, in this capitalist society, dude, it is what it is. And it ain't just the black, white, and it's white things too. I mean, white dude can't just go in there with long hair and get the job. He's not getting the job. <laughs> so I mean, so how's it a racist thing if, if your dredge is hanging down your ass? And you, I'm gonna keep it funky. You know, you can't say it's a racial thing. If the white boy didn't get the damn job, I mean, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it, it ain't. Well, let me swing it to I'm sorry, I'm gonna, I'm first on the You know, first time on the <clears throat> Do you think that there's an image? I think 
For me, I will say this. I think when your image is a hindrance to your progress, that's a problem. That, that is a problem. And that's the thing that we as black people have to really look at. Like the Kaepernick situation, okay, his afro, like Michael Vick said, that was a totally asinine statement mm -hmm. for him to make. Coming from a man that wore cornrows for, for his first few years of his career. Now you're critiquing and criticizing a man for the afro that he's wearing, saying that he may, that may be a problem for him getting an NFL job. You know? Your image is a problem when it's a hindrance to your progress. Now, in, in that sense, I mean things like the biggest thing with black people now, if you look in any inner city, the biggest problem is black on black crime. That is the problem. Now, you got to look at things like the image that we are putting out as black people. If you look at on social media at any time, right, what do you see? Is these young kids sitting up here, stacks of money like this, right? This yeah. is the image that these kids are putting out, yeah. right? Exactly. Guns, drugs, weed and stuff everywhere, right? Right. The girls all want to be strippers. <laughs> Let's just keep it 200. The girls always want to be strippers. <laughs> what are they putting out? Pictures of them butt naked. They sell them booty. Basically, Pretty like much. they on some stripper Thoughts. pole or something. Yeah. So that's why I said you have to be cognizant in a certain extent of the image that you are putting out. Because that can be a hindrance. If you're trying to progress as people, you cannot constantly put out a negative image. You can't because it's not going to progress you in any aspect of your life. Okay, well, just to run you down a little lame, what do you mean as far as the, the negative image? What is, as far as black people are concerned, and I guess you can swing it to the cabinet, what is a negative image? Go say there was maybe long cornrows, long hair from white oh women. What is, a, what is the in black what? skin? No, is it black, black skin? skin? Is it the, the way you know you dress, the, the, your the ideas, way you your ways of thinking? Them. I mean, how can we come to Black a consensus? Bro. I'm not sure. Someone talk to me. I'm gonna I'm I'm, 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 I'm come at it at a different angle, y'all. Because why ain't the society telling us that 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 we're the ones and y'all they bite everything we do. That's very true. Everything we do, dog. We got rap. And if you ever heard of hip hop, I mean hip hip hop. That's white boy rednecks rapping. You look at some of these white dudes, baggy pants, hat to, I mean, they want to be us so bad, but in the in, at the end of the day, they portray our in with image as bad, but they want to be us. True. That's just like, you know. They, they hate us, they, they ain't Yeah, they, but, but still, you can't have it, you can't do it both ways. That's just like if you say, if, if I hear a lot of white people bash rap, but yet you look in these movies, you got these white kids that's rapping in these. If, if you look at the way the movie was read, especially with the plot, what rap is, you look at them. That should have been a black family instead of a, you. Feel what I'm saying? And not only that, most uh, <laughs> consumers of rap music. Oh wow! Well, exactly. exactly. You feel what I'm saying? So, um, um, I, I, I think to me, once again, it's another one I'll of those it. stereotype oh, brainwashing. It, it really is. It, 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 it is, man. We're they want to be us so bad. But as far as the image, yeah, real though, yeah, as far as the image, image. like but, as far as black well, people being perceived a certain way from, I really uh, think it's corporate. I really, I really, I really look, 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 look. At the end of the day, it's corporate, man. You, you, to me, it's so deep, y'all. Whenever I heard the song, what was that? The country music song. What was that? Um, 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 uh, uh, Hungry Tonk Badonka Donk. <laughs> y'all listen. I mean, for real, for real. That, that that was back when Lil John and them was had to had to bounce and you feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But the, the 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 I hate rap, but yet you got a country song named the uh, honky tonk badonka donk. You feel what I'm saying? That goes to that's how much culture I feel like we bring to the table. We bring so much culture to the table, man. That it's like and, and it's not being fucked up. But what is white people brought to the table? I'm not being fucked up. But look at our culture, everything. I'm sorry. Good. Talk to hey. me. <coughs> Before go we get into the open discussion, which I feel is coming, let me get from you. Let me get, from Let's get back to this Michael Vick situation. I thought, like, my man said his ass a nine. I mean, because he grows an afro, 
He's got to change his image. I mean, he ain't been to prison. He ain't committed any Does crime. he have a point? Who? Vic? Fuck no. him. Go ahead. Why would you say no if you know that you can't go in certain establishments? Now, I know this is an isolated incident, I think. But to some degree, you this know that you can't just... ain't any crime? True indeed. He ain't True indeed. any crime. I think he's being blackballed. I, uh, he has committed crime I, in America. What? Yes, he is. What? What's the crime? Let's, let's get to the essence of what we're talking about. The crime in American capitalism is you doing this as a crime. Yeah. I like the crime. Mm. Now, this, this is all issue. And, and, and y'all have about, mm. about Mike Vick. Let me tell you something about Mike Vick, though. Mike Vick told him, Mike Vick wasn't going to come out of jail with them cornrows and get a job. That's what he was telling him. Like, man, if you want to go in there and get the CEO of them job, which is, it ain't wide receiver, it ain't running back, it ain't linebacker. You talking about? Look, you talking about the most important position on the field. Those people, Jerry Jones is worried about who the people to buy them boxes say. Exactly. But these are his partners behind closed doors, and they oh, have a say. Right. Like he's not coming in. He's not coming <laughs> in to face this organization behind this thing. You know, two years ago, if he'd have been like Paul Moore on you, he would have got him. But when you stuck that black fist and all that hair, you cannot realistically expect that to be in America the face of an organization. It's fucked up, but it's a damn brutal truth. If if you think any different. Y'all lying, not y'all, but America's lying to themselves. You have to cut your hair to get that fucking job. Otherwise, quit complaining about it. Go look. He has a platform now to do a lot of black stuff. He's got some money. Go do something else, dude. You cannot sit here and play I play the devil because every call him and think if you're gonna get a job without cutting your fucking hair. It is something realistic. Not like right. you can call people devils and you exploit a system. You think you're gonna go back in there? <laughs> I hate to say this, y'all. They you okay. dirty redneck motherfucker okay. gonna give you a job. So you we, we banana me. for thinking that way. It's not gonna happen. So you would rather America put on the illusion of <clears throat> this dude really thinks like this, but I want you to come in here looking like this. I know what you're thinking, but just don't come in here looking like this. Put your illusion on, and then you can come in here and get the job. Frank Farb is a dirty, stinking redneck. But they made him clean his act up. So it ain't a racial thing. I mean, I'm serious. I, I, I'm, I'm dead ass. Okay. Tobacco spitting nigga hate motherfucker. Right. <laughs> but, you know, he had his, you know, but nah, Brett, you can't do this. That's why Atlanta kind of got rid of him. Like, this motherfucker's a hit. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? It, it, it is what it is, Green Bay. Now you can't do this, Brett. We're going to clean you up a little bit. Dude, this, I think we as a culture, you know what I'm saying? We have to, we, at some point, we have to quit thinking that this damn power set up, it, it, like it don't exist. Like we can keep fighting this motherfucker up with, with, with BBs. You need to go to this shit with, with bullets and shit, dog. This motherfucker, yeah, I'm not gonna cut my hair. It's kind of like BB fighting this damn war. They, 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 they got a structure shit up. You gotta, you gotta tear that up from all the bricks, the roots of the problem, and then you would fuck up that structure. But till then, we see here all this black, white, and you can blame white man all you want to. But no, that ain't how you do things. The way you do things, keep your mouth shut, go to work. Like kind of like Malcolm X. He toned it down the way Mike, cause Malcolm could speak to anybody. Without losing his message. But you know, he's not going to be on there. He couldn't be the dude on there with the afro this big. Yeah. In, the, in the dashiki. He had to put that. I'm serious. Yeah. It's presentation has a lot to do with everything. What this boy ain't doing is wrong. But at some point, he needs to say, wait a minute, man. I need to shut my mouth up and win a Super Bowl. And then have a bigger platform to speak on some of these things. A little bit more intelligent than just doing yeah, it. You yeah. cannot do this yeah. against the NFL and think you're going to get a job. Shut the no, fuck up. But there is no tomorrow. There is only today. Well, so well you ought to know as a black man, you can't go out there and do this and sit bow down on that, on that flag and think you're going to get a job. That's unrealistic, y'all. It's fucked That's up, true. but that is unrealistic. It is. That's, he's talking talking that's fucked up, bro. Not really, because in that in, 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 a sense, in a sense, not really. It's not. It's not, man. I mean, it is saying that we have to completely, we have to completely sell our whole fucking being to go and work these fucking jobs. But that's the reality. Yeah, that's, that's, the reality that's the reality. That's the reality that we are creating for ourselves. But we are jumping into that reality and saying, and we're saying we have to live this. And I'm like, yo, fuck that shit, B. I'm like. Fuck that job, well, Colin. That, good point, I, I, yeah. I, I, if Colin was talking about let's let's My let's bad. push maybe homosexuality on people. That's not what he's doing. He's talking about some let's stop killing black yeah. people as Do you know how homes. big that is? How but, much of a threat but, that but, is? But, but for that to be that the threat, But for that to be the threat, I say Colin Kaepernick should say Fuck y'all. Well, that's realistic. On some real Use shit. My, his, his platform is just speak on what he's Because if that's what he's trying to do now. Because if he's going in that house, house, shut the fuck up. Because to be real with y'all, man, you know, he's, probably, excuse my language. he's probably making more money right now than he would be under contract. Right. I mean, because he's getting... Hey, dude, this man has done set up 
planes of food for Somalia. He's getting kickback from them donations. I am sorry. Why this do you why do you assume major. that? Why do you assume that? That's a lot that's a lot of assumption right there. For the simple fact of when he took that kneel down you don't think people ain't going to ice his pockets to make sure this dude's going to eat? No, Not only eat, but eat well. No, yeah. We should. I'm sorry. We should. Yeah, we should be backing hey. him so bad that you, you won't get out of the seat. But then they ask him that question. How did this dude cowards, get a plane, right? a bunch yeah. of food, and send it over to Somalia? How is he able to do 90% of the shit that he's doing? And I'm talking about this shit ain't small. It's fucking huge. You I feel forgot, what I'm saying? I forgot how he did it. I forgot the story. But... And he looked 100, either this motherfucker know how to manage his money to the T, somebody's got to be icing them pockets on the back end. You feel what I'm saying? Because if he's doing it for that, then you make it sound like he's only doing this shit for money. No, 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 no. I'm not saying that. I think really whenever he got let go, you know, these motherfuckers that he was with and around him was like, you know what's going to happen. Hey, to me, whenever he was playing, he knew that... Each day he walked into that 49er locker room, that stadium, and it could have been his last day. You understand what I'm saying? When that finally come, he had to be prepared for that shit. You know what I'm saying? He stayed on his point. He's been on his point. He's never let his issue go. But, hey, he's eating somehow, some way. I'm going to get to the end of the segment. James, give me one thought. Right? But I'm going to kind of echo off of what Ron, you were saying, too. And I would never want any player or whatever to be an <coughs> uncle. Right. That's, I That's would, not what I would do. never con- condone that in any way, shape, or form. Right. <clears throat> but as Lonnie was saying, you know, type of thing, you have to understand, too, and business is business. You know, Kaepernick has his message, and I'm all for him getting his message across. But there's a time and a place for everything. Right. So you're coming full circle back to the original point of the image that we put out here. There's a time and place for everything. There's a time and place if you want your pants hanging off your ass, this type of thing. There's a time and place for everything. That's real. That's true. If you are employed as a professional athlete, they are going to set boundaries for what you can and cannot do. Remember several years back, some of y'all remember this, I'm sure, when the NBA initiated a dress code, yeah. right? Yes. People raised hell about that. Mm-hmm. Why are they telling these people how to dress? How come they can't wear the chains and this and that? Now they're telling them to put on suits because you're representing my business. The brand. You're re- that's right, the brand. You are representing my business. Any NFL team looking at Colin Kaepernick, they're saying your message, that's fine and good for when you off stage or whatever. True. But while you're here, leave that outside because you're in a whole nother area. You, We hired you as a quarterback. Yeah. That's primarily mm-hmm. what we want you to do. We want you to be the best quarterback you can be. Help us win, get in the playoffs, whatever. Right. And leave it there. All this other shit you want to talk about, do that on your time. While you on our time, though, leave all of that, you know, this and that.